the district forgot to add an item that was acquired in a prior year, they would add the item as they normally would in the item screen. When first adding the item, it prompts you to enter the acquisition transaction information, which is what I have right now. I pulled an item in from the pending file. I'm at the point where I'm at the acquisition transaction screen. A current fiscal year date must be used, but the true acquisition date can be entered on the second screen of item screen. So I'm going to use the date here in the current fiscal year. I'm going to finish my acquisition. Complete screen one. Then on the second screen, here's where I can put in the true acquisition date, the prior year date. I'll finish off this screen. I'll go ahead and add this item. In order for this item, if this is a capitalized item, not to appear as a true acquisition on the GAP reports, I need to go into the Acquisition Transaction Program and modify the error adjustment flag. By modifying the error adjustment flag, the amount of this item is going to appear under the Adjustments column on the GAP reports instead of the Acquisition column. If I run an EIS 103, you will notice that the item's amount is showing up on the adjustments column instead of the acquisition column.